what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here talking about scream six in this video here again today talking about a couple things we're going to talk about some potential character names that might be true considering the other character sheet that came out and the initials lining up with these names that are now on imdb talking about the return of cinema club in scream six and going to talk about melissa barrera's recent comment she's made and talk about a stab museum that could appear in the movie. Now, I do want to shout out you, uh, Kay in Salem. If you're listening to this, shout out to you guys. Because I know you guys talked about us potentially getting a stab museum as it as it pertains to that image we saw of the outside of a theater, but on the inside we saw like glimpses of what was stab posters hanging up on the inside. And now we got a new photo that you see here on your screen that looks like a robe that belongs to Ghostface is being placed up in a position in which it looks like it's a way to like kind of have something on display in a museum and it can only be something else that that is going on in that in that uh location besides a museum but i am now on the side of thinking that this is a museum that is in tribute to the stat movies that have been coming out over the years so we'll see if that's ultimately what happens or if what i had to think about was correct as well that mindy somehow convinced her entire cinema cinema class to put on stage productions of the stab movies so talking about these new comments from Melissa Barrera, she was having a sit down with E talk um, and I'll leave a link to one of the posts that I was able to find the clip of uh, shout out to you, Tristan. I was able to find a clip that you tweeted out. So I'll leave a link to your post. And it said what she had to say mostly was a lot of what we've already heard from her in another one. But she did highlight some important things. She highlighted how Matt and Tyler have more creative control and the movie will be on another level because of that. We know she's talked about in the past how Scream 5 is basically like them paying homage to Wes. And now they're going to get to do their own thing. So I can't wait to see what that entails. And she did say we'll get to see more of Sam and Gail. So I know a lot of people who have already been looking forward to seeing another interaction between Sam and Gail. I guess you'll get to see another one in Scream 6. And if you're someone who's been following a lot of the behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but the filming process that's going on currently out in Montreal, we've already seen that they are going to have a scene that at least was shot where she is having a communication between herself uh not between herself i meant to say where sam is having a communication between tara and gail who arrives on scene after what i can only assume was a murder scene so she also stated in this sit down with e, e talk that there will be real life elements incorporated that keep the meta aspect alive so real life real life things or real life elements that could be related to a lot of different social socially relevant topics as of right now so take your pick out of what you think she could be talking about uh as far as it relates to how they might incorporate some social commentary for scream six and how they might make it meta in how they approach it with the with the killer and whatever motive they end up giving the killer so take your pick out of that the other image i wanted to show you here was this one here on your screen with cinema club as you can see in the image uh, being highlighted as one of the things that's going on on campus. If you can't see it, it's too small. I apologize. But if you're on screen Twitter, you've already seen it as well. So it's nice to know that we will have Cinema Club back. I know people are already still clamoring to see a scene between Kirby and Mindy. A Cinema Club scene will be the most ideal place to see these two characters interact for the very first time. And of course, this might be where we get to see a Joshua Jackson appearance if he actually ends up being in the movie. So that'll be fun as well because we know joshua jackson had a minor appearance in scream 2 so it'll be nice if he actually shows up again in scream 6 uh if his role that's been rumored actually ends up being true and he shows up as like a professor and that leads the cinema club course or something like that but i know a lot of people would more rather have the scene occur in cinema club between kirby and mindy if that were to occur sure it'd be very fun i can't think of a reason why kirby necessarily would even be in college but again like i've made mention of in other videos college isn't only for people who just recently graduated high school <laughs> kirby could have just decided to go very late given everything she's been through over the past decade or so so the other thing we need to talk about are the character names now a character sheet that I've talked about in another video had, and I was also talking about a name in particular when I put a video about the audition tape that was leaked, or not leaked, but I discovered and made a video about. We had the names of Derek, Eric, Alicia, and Claire. Now, if you go over to IMDb, they might have actually changed it by the time this is released. You have the names of Allison, David, and Carly. I guess also Ethan. Now, Allison could be alicia david could be derek carly could be claire ethan could be eric now why does that matter 
the 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 point that I want to get at is like many people might remember when Scream 5 was in production, you had this thing going on where it was Sarah, but it actually ended up being Samantha. You had this thing where it was Teresa. It actually ended up being Tara. You had stuff like that going on where the names were cold names, but when we got the official names, their initials were still the same and it just was a different name altogether with the same initial. So if this is the same thing going on here, those might actually be the names of the characters going into Scream 6. Or it could be that someone picked up on that formula and as of course went over to IMDb because you know anyone can edit IMDb and they decided to play a game with the fandom get us talking like I'm doing right now and it's not true. But I do think there's a chance that this could be true given the pattern that it has going off of what we had occurred last time with Scream 5 when the character names were initially S Sarah which ended up being Samantha and again Teresa which ended up being Tara so on and so forth. It happened with a few other characters as well. But I'm really excited for Scream 6. Can't wait to see the movie next March. I also believe filming is supposed to wrap next week on August 9th or 10th out in Montreal. So hopefully we'll get our first footage of the movie later this uh later this year maybe in the month of november or december i know something will come as far as like a full-length trailer i think it'd probably be best if they save a full-length trailer closer to release maybe around january or so and give us like a short teaser in the month of october just to get get us excited for what's to come uh, i can't wait to see all the official press runs that come out and i know people are still like well where's the nev evidence where's the evidence that nev is going to be in the movie again if nev campbell is indeed in this movie because of a secret negotiation that was made she's not going to come out and say it they probably won't went above and beyond to make sure that her revelation on set did not get disclosed she's probably already shot her scenes and left and i know the same thing is probably actually going on with hayden pantier who we know is in the movie we haven't seen a single glimpse of her we're not going to know officially if nev is in the movie until it comes out in march i again am on the side of believing that she will indeed be in the movie uh but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below what do you think about the potential chance of getting the stab museum and all these other things if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video